Use the three steps shown on the previous slide to analyze what happened to the interest rate. So you are going to use the supply of the bond and the demand of the bond together to analyze equilibrium interest rate. Here we have uh, three questions. So let's start with the question number one. The household wealth fell dramatically. So what will happen to the interest rate after this event happened? So number one here. Before we answer the question, you have to draw the supply and the demand of the bonds on the graph. Price of the bond on the vertical axis, quantity of the bond on the horizontal axis. Supply curve is upward sloping curve, demand curve is downward sloping curve. So, using the intersection of the supply and the demand, we can determine. Let's initial equilibrium price of the bond. Let's initial equilibrium quantity of the bonds. So, question number one asks, what happened to the interest rate if the household wealth drop? So the event here is wealth drop. So, so how this event? can be related to either demand or supply. You should record all the factors that affect the demand side and all the factors affect the supply side. And if you check your notes or the previous slide, you can find out wells actually is one of the factors will affect demand of the bond. But what happened to the demand of the bond? If a household wealth reduce, if a household have less money on hand, household are going to spend less money investing into the bond, which means household will buy less bond. So bond demand in this case goes down. Then you can know if the bond bond demand goes down, the bond demand curve. will shift to the left. Let's use a D prime. So bond demand curve shift to the right. Then on the on the graph you can find out the new equilibrium point is here. So with the new equilibrium point Bond price is going to drop, and the bond quantity will drop as well. But what happened to the interest rate? Because bond price decreases, and we know the interest rate and the bond price has negative relationship. So here, if you see the bond price decrease, you will know. The interest rate will increases. So that's how we use the three step one, two, three, and the graph to analyze what happened to the interest rate. So let's move on to the second question here. Again, you have to draw the bond supply and the demand curve, the price of the bond. Quantity of the bond, bond supply curve, and bond demand curve. And let's assume let's initial equilibrium price of the bond. Let's initial equilibrium price, uh, e e equilibrium quantity of the bond. Okay. So question number two tell you what the government spending. Increase a lot because government spend the billions of the dollars on the bailout. So government spending 
up. So this event is related to supply and demand. Again, you have to be familiar with the factors of the supply of the bond and demand of the bond. And you actually can find out the government spending is related to the supply of the bond. So here, supply of the bond is going up or down. Yeah, you can imagine if the government spend billions of dollars, their tax income probably not enough to cover the spending. So government have to borrow money. Government has to go to the financial market to issue the bond to borrow money. If they issue more bond to borrow money, means supply of the bond will go up. So now move on to the second step. We know supply of the bond go up, which will shift the supply curve will shift to right. So that means bond supply increases. Now, can we find out what happened to interest rate? Yes. First, because the supply curve shift, now we have a new equilibrium point. So, bond price here decreases. The quantity of the bond increased. So, using the graph, we can clearly see the bond price Job. Right again, that's what we we can get from the graph, and then we can analyze what happened to the interest rate, because interest rate and the bond price has a negative relationship. So if a bond price drop, interest rate will increases. So let's answer to the question number two. We are done with the first two questions. Let's discuss the the third question. Stock price are expected to increase. So again, to answer this question, you have to draw the supply and the demand curve. Price of the bond and the quantity of the bond. Supply curve, demand curve. Assume this equilibrium price initially. Let's That's the equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium quantity here. Okay. <laughs> so first step, we have to analyze if the stock price are expected to increase. What happened to the the bonds market? Does this event affect supply or demand? And uh, you should keep in mind, as investors, you can either choose to invest into the bonds or stock. So stock and the bonds are kind of like substitutes. So that's actually related to the other asset on the demand side. If the stock price are expected to increase, stock price increase it will become more attractive to the investors so investors are going to move the money into the stock market so which means less money available to buy bonds so bond demand will go down if a bond demand go down and we know the bond demand curve will shift to the left. 
So bond demand curve shift to left. Then with the new demand curve and the supply curve, we can see the new equilibrium points on the graph. So that's the new equilibrium price. That's the e new equilibrium quantity. So clearly, price drop quantity here reduced. So bomb price drop and which indicate the interest rate will actually go up. So here are the three practice questions. Yeah, I hope you answers you got the right answers from these three to these three questions. Yeah, the key here is you have to use the three steps. You have to keep in mind all the factors that affect the supply and the demand.